This is a T-Motor U13 brushless DC motor. So this is for a large scale heavy lift drone project that I'm working on. For contrast, here is a T-Motor F40. This one here for the high speed race freestyle drones will get around maybe 90 miles an hour off of something like this. So this one here, this one, this one is not huge in speed, this is huge in lift power. So the project is to be able to lift something around, you know, 150 or so pounds. So each one of these, with the, the proper propeller, of course, will lift around 24 kilograms, they say. So this is pretty cool. So I'll show you, I'll show you the frame for that in a second. The problem today that I want to address <laughs> is this right here. So this is the Flame 180, so it's 180 amp ESC, and it has no documentation. Uh, if, you, if you call them, if you email them, T-Motor will say, of course we do, it's on the website. And if you go to the website, you can go do that right now if you like, um, you get some specs, and that's about it. So as far as how do you hook this up to a transmitter, hook it up to your receiver, hook it up to a flight control board, that is a mystery. And I wanna help you, if you've got one of these, I wanna help you figure this out, as far as at least what I've figured out so far. So when you have the ends right here, so here's the problem, if you look at this. So you might be expecting, if it was for something like one of these, you'd have an ESC coming out, you'd have maybe one wire that's your signal wire and a ground, they're kind of twisted, you may or may not need to use the ground. If you're plugging it into a receiver like this, then you might be expecting to see three wires coming out of it, uh, power grounded signal. This has got a lot of them. So, what we did is you look around, and then there's some forums out there, maybe you can find some help there too, but I couldn't find anything. So you've got this nice wire right here, and so we ex expect, you expect that this thing here is probably not going to do something like D-Shot 26, or 1600, 1200, some hundred like that, right? So we're probably going to be doing PWM. Maybe we'll get lucky, maybe we'll do something else. So we're looking at this going, well, that looks like it belongs in one of these. So I bet what we're seeing right here is power, is power, ground, and signal, and we're supposed to plug it in here, just like so, like you normally would. Okay, well, if it was that easy, we'd be done now, and maybe I wouldn't even be doing this video. So, um, of course, that does not work. Then the problem, one of the problems, is, so you start digging a little bit further, you start probing this out, and you come to find out that the power, it is actually power on ground, and the power is putting out five volts, just as you would imagine, so that's good. But this supposed signal wire right here, this is putting out around three volts, and that's not good. So that's not gonna work. And the motor goes into kind of a beep, 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 I don't know, like every two, three seconds or something, it's just sitting here beeping. It's not doing, it, it seems to be an error, and that error, as far as like looking online, it just says, you got a problem. <laughs> so yeah, good, good on you guys. Uh, so what we figured out was, what we speculated was, that maybe one of these other ones here was actually the signal wire, and I want to show you, I want to show you what I figured out. All right, now I'm filming backwards, so this is going to be kind of weird for me. Uh, so bear with. Now this here is, these are, well, 1300 6S batteries. So you're looking at about 22-ish volts right here. And then we're, we've got a, a series connector right here. You can find these on Amazon. Um, and now, so we now have a total of 48 volts out of our battery right here. Okay, so I guess for first test, I'll just show you
So we're getting about 46 volts. So you can kind of see that there, okay? So off camera, I'll take this and I'm gonna plug this into the ESC. You'll hear the whole thing beep, beep. Also, it's pretty common, I guess, to get, I'm gonna show you, watch right here. Might need a better mechanism for this, because watch. Can you see that? There's enough juice in there that we're getting kind of a spark internally, but as long as you get the damn thing in there, it should be good. There, finally got a use for the stupid prop. All right. Beep, 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 motor over here. Here's our ESC wires here. And I will smash this down here. Here is the ground right there. See if I can hold it still and do this at the same time. Here, I'll do the hot one here, or the power. Okay, so here's the positive here, and then here's the negative. And as you can see, we're getting basically our five volts right there. Now, I'm just going to lift the hot wire here, and I'm gonna put it over on the other, and so see, now we're getting three volts off of this white wire right here. Now, I'm not sure why that would be. Uh, kinda had some theories about, let's see, maybe it's one of these, one of these, one of these, and so what I ended up doing was getting so this is ultimately going to get onto a, um, hooked up onto a flight control board. But for the time being, let's simplify things and plug it into just a plain old receiver. One that I already have bound and no work. So this comes from um, uh, an RC airplane, right? And so tested it beforehand so I know that it works. So you take this and then you'll plug this into here. But we'll go ahead and disconnect the battery here real fast. Okay. <clears throat> So we'll put black into black. So these right here, we just grab some some uh, jumper wires. Should have some of those laying around, I would imagine, right? And then we'll put this into positive. And then what we figured out was, well, maybe it's just one of these. And so we started. Well, the first thing I did is I checked to make sure there's no voltage on any of these other ones, and there is not. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the signal wire and I'm going to plug it into this one right here. This, this one that has the two already kind of connected together, not the three that has the power in it. So take that, plug that, into the white wire there. So this is, if you look at the whole wire bundle here, it's basically the white one that's right in the middle. Okay, we'll set this right here, we'll get this right here, and then we'll plug our battery back in. And then this comes on. Now you might be able to tell that this is making a little bit different beat pattern. And incidentally, you can see that there is power on this. So this does have a built-in BEC and it says that it does not, but it's obviously running this thing. And then over here, we've got the transmitter and <laughs> that thing's a monster. So then for the sake of documentation, here is the frame that um, we came up with. So this is all extruded aluminum, 8020, and then I'll get down in here and I'll show you the lid here. So this is all just for reinforcement, you see. Um, but then there's also kind of a, a bit of a mandate that we had here was that these arms here be able to be removed so that we could uh, transport it. So a whole lot of uh, crap going on here, these plates on the side would end up, there's kind of, if you can kind of see this, there's sort of an internal plus sign, if you will, that uh, is held together by these plates, and then all you have to do is undo a few fasteners here, and then this whole inner piece will just slide out. Then ultimately, let's put this back on here, 
and then ultimately the motors will be out here on the ends and so we're making a motor mount for that as well so I'm gonna set the camera down here so you can see what the deflection on this is so is that gonna sit there okay so you probably can't see me, maybe you'll see my foot up there, but I'm gonna stand on top of this. And this doesn't even have the plate adhered to it on the top, right? This is all just stress on the bottom plate. Okay, so there you go. And with, you know, all my shoes and socks on, I think I'm all of about 165 pounds. So not a super heavy dude but still um i don't think you saw much deflection there so if each motor has got about 60 ish pounds of thrust 24 kilograms uh, theoretically we could lift like almost 220 pounds but you know less the frame we'll, we'll go you know i'd be pretty happy with say a pack of shingles you know something like that you know getting some roofing material up to the top of a building or structure or something like that so I'll keep you up to date on this project as it, you know, happens. But uh, we're, we're pretty close now. we got the motors working. Then we just got to get them hooked up to, uh, to a flight control board and get that thing to work. And then we're good. There's no way we're going to try to run it off of just the plain old plane receiver like I just showed you spin in there because that will go haywire bad. Then this right here is the motor mount plate that we're making. The reason for all the... The fancy detail well the swirls is just kind of the way it comes out which is kind of a cool effect but the props there the the the, the um these little bits right here those are because the motor when it sits on it there's actually these same matching shapes underneath the bottom of the motor and um, there's some air vents there so this is to let some air get back up inside there so we got a few more of these to make um, and then, like I said, uh, run some wires, and I think we're probably good to test hover soon. So I hope that might be helpful. I thought this would be kind of fun to show you a little bit of a new project that I'm working on and give anybody else out there that's working on a similar thing um, a little bit of a hand on how to hook these things up here when the documentation is super limited. Uh, these things, as you can imagine, they're not horribly cheap, but they are in the realm of accessible for, you know, people if you, you know, save your pennies, right? So we're going to see more of these coming soon in the future. You can guarantee that.